Good morning. I hate interrupting all the conversation. I can tell that all of you have been cooped up in the house for the past two days with liquid sunshine. You need to get out and see each other. I fully get it. And I don't have any good jokes for you this week. The one good joke that I had, I told it prime time, so I don't want to repeat myself. Oh, wait, who would have heard it? Suzette and Gail, Linda. Okay, you three just close your ears. So this morning's joke to keep you in a good sense of humor is that little Joey's in the second grade and his teacher's helping him with math and, he sa and the teacher says, Joey, so if I give you two cats and Susie gives you two cats and Lisa gives you two cats, how many cats are you gonna have? Joey says, seven. Teacher says, okay, let's try this again. So if I give you two apples and Johnny gives you two apples and Linda gives you two apples, how many apples are you gonna have? How many apples is he gonna have? Six, okay. So teacher says, okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna give you two cats. Johnny's gonna give you two cats. Lisa's gonna give you two cats. How many cats are you gonna have? And Joey again says, seven. And the teacher says, but you got it right with the apples. Why did you get it? Why are you coming up with seven on the cats? And Joey says, because I've already got one cat at home. Hi, Madison. Hi, Caleb. Welcome to worship this morning, the fourth Sunday of Easter. It is good to have everybody here with us. Even those that are online, we are happy you are with us this morning. In our prayers this morning, we remember Art and Janet Sigler. Art's brother died in Florida about two weeks ago, and services were held in Florida. But we remember Art and Janet in this time as well. We remember also the Shireman family on the death of Joyce, whose service was earlier this week. Are there others for whom we should remember? Mary. Jim and Dick Prescott, uh, on May 11th, Dick is going to have more tests done at Hershey than she is. Okay, we can certainly do that. Thank you. Any others? And let us prepare our hearts and minds for worship.
Please stand as you are able. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Hallelujah. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is the feast of the 
Let us pray. O oh God of peace, you brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep. By the blood of your eternal covenant, make us complete in everything good, that we may do your will, and work among us all that is well-pleasing in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. And I invite the young and young at heart to come forward. Coming up. Hi, Caitlin. Have a seat. Have a sip. How are you two today? Good. 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 Do you know what today is? Money. Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. That's there's my right. mom. And there's your mom. Uh -huh. And what about your grandma? Is it Grandmother's Day too? Yeah. It's, it's called Mother's Day, not Grandmother's Day. Grandma. Well. <laughs> Silly. Silly. Now she's up in my office. She's <laughs> up in his office. So it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know your dad has a mother? <laughs> your dad has a mom. Yeah. We know. Yes. Our mom. Right. So it's Grandmother's Day too, right? No? Suzette, I'm trying here. <laughs> no. And how do you show your mom that you love her? No. You don't show your mom that you love her? No. I show my mom. Okay. Did you make her a card? No. Did you pick her flowers out of the yard? No. Did you make her breakfast in bed? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. They made you breakfast. Okay. Well, well breakfast is I good. I made her breakfast. I just made her breakfast. Me and my dad. We yeah. made cream cream oh, I bet those came out really, really good. <laughs> and how does your mom show you that she loves you? What's that? That's what helps carry my voice. <laughs> how how do you show how does mom show that she loves you no. No. you don't know does she tuck you in at night does she kiss you good night does she pat you on the head when she kisses you good night no. No. no does she and she reads you books. Her, Caleb falls asleep with dad all the time. Caleb falls asleep with dad all the time. I want to sleep with mom for a little bit. It died. Kind of changed. I died. Let me sleep. I saw you the first five days in a row. <laughs> well, did you know that Jesus loves you? Did you know that Jesus loves you? <laughs> and not only when you're in church today, but later today when you're having fun playing and when you're at daycare and when you're at Mamaw's and Pops, and when you're at Grandma and Grandpa's. Okay. Okay. Yep. And Jesus loves you. Every single day. And 
I went to Disney in a long time. We went to Disney, Disney. in the very long time. Oh, and I got a little Fifi chair, yeah. And, and you brought Fifi. Fifi with you for a while. I'm um, so glad you brought Fifi with I, you. I brought Fifi two days in a while. Look. Now, here's my question for you. I like Fifi. Do you always hear Jesus say that he loves you? Then up there, then. Do you always hear Jesus say that he loves you? Nan is up in heaven. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. But do, you hear, but do you hear Jesus say, Caleb, I love you? No, nope, you don't hear him. You don't. Uh -uh. I want you to listen very carefully to one of our readings from John today. And in that, John talks about... Jesus says, rather, I can literally hear you talk. You can't hear me talk. I can. You can. Okay. Well, in our reading from John, we're going to hear Jesus talk about how his sheep hear, hear his your, voice. I can't hear him. He's up in heaven. Hi. And he hit your sand a year. <laughs> but, but Jesus has different ways of telling us that he loves us. He tells us that through the way our parents love us. He tells us that through the way our friends love us. <coughs> he tells us he loves us in the way our friends and our neighbors show like, us love. Like Addie mm -hmm. and Leah mm -hmm. and Joshua and Olivia. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty good news, isn't it? Even Kayla. Kayla. Yep. Even Penny? Yep. Penny? Even Peppermint. You know Peppermint? I know a, Peppermint. You know Peppermint play out, right? Mm-hmm. Guess what? Last time when I went in the bathroom, I literally saw her, her be hanged to her to Peppermint was hanging off the uh, toilet paper. Uh, uh, and then she had her side, and she was lying on the... <laughs> I think Peppermint was being silly. And the last time I saw her where our pictures are at, and the last time they screened off, well, and I went to the high school and she's a silly Peppermint. She is a silly Peppermint. Sounds like she's finding some good hiding places. Uh-huh. Good. I could never find her there. Yeah, I find, um, I couldn't find her way right away. Well, I want you to remember that in those times, just like Peppermint hides, and you hide from mom and dad, or maybe you hide from Caleb, we that even if you play hide and seek sometimes, good. Well, in those times that you hide, Jesus still loves you. And that's really good news to hear. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. And Tucker and Tegan. Yep. Let's have a prayer. Yeah. Gracious God, we thank you for mothers and fathers and grandparents and friends and family that remind us of your love. Help us to listen for your voice and to hear your voice of love always in our lives. We ask this in your name. Amen. I like Father's Day and Christmas Hello. and Easter. I like every single yeah. holiday. Oh, we've got a holiday coming up in a couple weeks. And thank you for Thank you for coming up. A reading from X. Now in Joppa, there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time, she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since Lida was near Joppa, the disciples who heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with the request, please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. 
All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and prayed. He turned to the body and said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then calling the saints and widows, he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Meanwhile, Peter stayed in Joppa for some time with a certain Simon, a tanner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, my shepherd, oh, what my spirit down to my in pastures green, he laid with me avoided waters by. He leadeth me, he leadeth me avoided waters by. I saw he doth restore again and make me to Within the paths of righteousness, being for his own name's sake. Within the paths of righteousness, being for his own name's sake. Yea, though I walk in distress. Yet will I fear no ill, for the heart with me and I run and step me comfort still. For the heart with me and I run and step me comfort still. I tell the richly spread in presence of my foes. My head that was with a anoint and my cup overflows. My head that was with a anoint and my cup overflows. Goodness and mercy of my heart shall surely follow me. And in God's house forevermore, my dwelling place shall be. And in God's house forevermore, my dwelling place shall be. A reading from Revelation. After this, I looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. 
They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. And he will guide them to springs of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my father has given me is greater than all else. And no one can snatch it out of the father's hand. The father and I are one. The gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you may be seated. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the past several years, one of the graces and gifts in life has been serving as a coach for girls on the run. This program is for girls in third through eighth grades that meets twice a week and with the purpose to help develop healthy, positive self-esteem and confidence through physical fitness. At the end of the season, the girls then run a 5K, run or walk at their pace. Now practice can be interesting and is usually filled with joy. And every now and then there are those weeks where even though we meet outside as best as possible, the girls can act like they're bouncing off the walls. Especially a recent week where they had just completed standardized testing. To help encourage them then when they went back into the classroom, their lap counters for this particular practice were motivational bracelets. Tiny beads with letters on them that they could write whatever they wanted as a bracelet and wear on their wrist. It was a really, really good idea. But nine, fifth and sixth grade girls looking for small beads with letters on them at the same time was a little challenging. I need an I, I need an M. Do you have any blank beads for spaces? Nine different questions all at the same time. It was a challenge. There were too many voices calling for attention at once. But then again, nine voices calling for attention can be a reflection of the world around us. This week especially has been no exception to voices clamoring for attention. Voices predicting two days of wet weather. Voices protesting injustice. Voices promoting the use of hatred against one another. 
Voices arguing for qualifications, voices arguing against qualifications, voices questioning leadership, voices encouraging things to be the same, voices challenging vaccines, voices discouraging vaccines. And over all of these voices that clamor for our attention is the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Have you heard it? It can be hard to hear. And even those in Jesus' time had a hard time hearing the voice of Jesus, the Messiah. Tell us plainly, they ask Jesus in today's gospel. Are you the Messiah? Or should we look for someone else? It would seem at first glance that it could be a simple yes or no question. But it goes deeper than yes or no. Sometimes when we have our expectations and the answer to our expectations doesn't live up to what we think they are, there's a little bit of disappointment. And sometimes when our expectations and the answer to our expectations meets that's that which we hope for, there is relief, there is joy. But Jesus reminds those in the crowd that those who hear his voice are his sheep, and they know his voice, and they hear it. over all the voices of this week. I invite you to take just a couple minutes and think maybe of the times that you have heard the voice of the Good Shepherd in your own life this week. The voice of Jesus is one that brings healing to those who hear it and those responding to it. The voice of Jesus calls, speaks, affirms, and invites those who do not hear it. The voice of Jesus brings life even when spoken by Peter or by others. Through Peter, through his words and actions, Dorcas was healed, given life, and restored back to community. The voice of Jesus as the Lamb seated on the throne encourages those gathered to give full and perfect praise. The voice of the Good Shepherd brings abundant life. And for those who don't believe or can't hear the voice of Jesus, the voice sound, can sound like another voice in the world. Tell us plainly, and then what to do. The voice doesn't speak louder, softer, faster, slower. It takes action. And in this action, the world takes notice. Who else would give their life for those they love? My hope and my prayer this week, that you hear the voice of Jesus as a source of comfort and strength, forgiveness, hope, assurance, trust. I pray and I hope that you hear the voice of Jesus as unconditional love. A voice that love says, I love you. I pray and I hope that you hear the voice of Jesus as one that says, my grace is sufficient for you. Perfect in every weakness. And I am with you always, forever and ever. May God, who is gracious, continue to give us ears to hear and the grace to love. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you.
Let us confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him, all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Set free from captivity to sin and death. Let us pray to the God of resurrection for the church, the world, and all of creation. Gentle shepherd. Enable your church to respond to the voice of Jesus. Give us unfailing trust, unafraid to join in Jesus' work of renewing all things. Risen Lord, feed your people at the table of creation. Prepare a safe place for those whose environments are dangerous or unhealthy, especially those in Ukraine those making difficult journeys. Prosper your creation for the sake of every living thing. Risen Lord, warm the hot hearts of all who celebrate and all who mourn on this Mother's Day, accompanying those yearning to be mothers. Help us to heal from broken family relationships and open us to receive your nurturing love from all who serve in mothering roles in our lives. Risen Lord, seek out those who weep while they await healing or consolation. We pray especially for Art and Janet, Dave and Connie, Joe and Loretta, Dick and Jeannie, Kathy, Lila, George, Mary Lou, Jim, 
Peggy, Bob, Nancy, Maggie. And all that we name louder in the silence of our hearts. Bring people to their paths who can provide the care they need and get, wipe away every tear from their eyes. Risen Lord. Inspire the words of prophets and saints who employ in imagery to stretch our understanding. Send Christ to instruct us in motherly care. Risen Lord. Enfold us in the great multitude of saints from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages. Bathe us in your saving grace every day, guiding us to your waters of life. Risen Lord. In your mercy, O oh God, respond to these prayers. Renew us by your life-giving spirit through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. You may be seated.
Let us pray. Living God, you gather the wolf and the lamb to feed together in your peaceable reign, and you welcome us all at your table. Reach out to us through this meal and show us your wounded and risen body that we may be nourished and believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb, who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. You are indeed holy, almighty, and merciful God. You are most holy, and great is the majesty of your glory. You so loved the world you gave your only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. We give you thanks for his coming into the world to fulfill for us your holy will and to accomplish all things for our salvation. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body given for you do this for the remembrance of me again after supper he took the cup gave thanks and gave it for all to drink saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin do this for the remembrance of me for as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Remembering, therefore, his salutary command, his life-giving passion and death, his glorious resurrection and ascension, and the promise of his coming again, we give thanks to you, O Lord God, not as we ought, but as we are able. And we ask you mercifully to accept our praise and thanksgiving. With your word and Holy Spirit, bless us. Your servants and these your own gifts of bread and wine, so that we and all who share in the body and blood of Christ may be filled with heavenly blessing and grace. And receiving the forgiveness of sin, may we be formed to live as your holy people and given our inheritance with all your saints. To you, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory in your holy church now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The risen Christ dwells with us here. Come, all who are hungry and thirsty. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy. 
of Christ given for you. The body 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 of Christ given for you. Body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. 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 The body of Christ given for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Please stand. The body and blood of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, generous God, for in this bread and cup, we have tasted the new heaven and earth where hunger and thirst are no more. Send us from this table as witnesses to the resurrection that through our lives all may know life in Jesus' name. Amen. We enjoyed having everyone for worship this morning. It is always a pleasure to be gathered, and Jesus reminds us that where two or three are gathered, there he is in our midst. Um, just a couple announcements. Uh, today is a deadline for newsletter articles, so if you have anything you would like to go into the June newsletter, please be sure to make sure the office gets it. Um, there will be a memorial service for Janet Johnson this coming Friday, May 13th at 11 a.m. at Maytown Union Cemetery. Afterwards, there will be a time of fellowship and sharing here at the church. Are there any other announcements? Let us receive God's blessing. May God, the author of life, Christ, the living cornerstone, and the life-giving spirit of adoption, bless you now and forever. Amen. For the Father will keep you. the chair Where's the Lord, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Go in peace, sharing this good news. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. <laughs>